Hey everybody, it's time to get Fit DC, yeah! Hey, this is Coach Sherman and I'm here to walk you through an on the ground workout. This is a Fit DC floor workout and we're gonna be on the floor for all of our activities. Listen, just because we're staying in the house doesn't mean we have to stay inactive. We're going to move, we're going to find a way to get our fit in where? With Fit DC. So let's move a little, get those bodies ready to work. We're gonna shake and out. we're gonna shake out those arms, move those knees. We're doing two things at the same time. We are able to multitask. All right, and so let's take those arms up. And make some circles, get those shoulders ready, backward circles, we're still moving those knees. Listen, we're not doing a lot of high impact stuff. We're not going to jump around, we're not going to, but we are going to stay active um, for about 13, 14 minutes to get your heart rate up, get it going, get it in that fat burning zone, and get you in a place where your fitness is going through the roof. All right, let's bring those knees up nice and easy, nice and easy. Give me two more of these. And one more, good. Shake those arms out, rotate those wrists. Rotate them around, those elbows. Here, inside out. Let's rotate those hips a little bit. Make sure our joints are lubricated, ready to get this work in. Rotate our knees around. At the same time, we're also rolling our ankles getting our ankles ready for the work. Knees up and out. So you take your leg up, take it out. Imagine there's a little fence right there. You're just stepping over. Or you have a puppy and your puppy's running underfoot. You just lift your foot and you step over. Good, all right, so we're gonna go to the floor, like I said, and we're gonna spend our whole time on the floor. All right, so you don't have to worry about getting up, getting back down into a big transition. They'll all be on the floor. We're going to start in a tabletop. What is a tabletop? It's the top of the table. But that's. Um, so we're gonna go here, hands and, hands and knees, flatten our back, and we're gonna do what is called a bird dog. All right, so we're gonna take our right hand and our left foot and bring them together and take them apart. Together and apart. Together and apart. If you need padding or a mat, for your knees, get it, get it. Apart, together, apart, together, apart, together, apart, together, apart. Good, and let's transition to the other side. Left hand, right leg, and together, apart, together, apart, together, together, together. Together, Ugh. together, together. We are in this together, even though we're apart. Together, we're in it together. Uh, even though we're apart. And down, back to our tabletop. Now from here, we're going to do something that we call fire hydrants. Now turn this way. Uh, we call it fire hydrants for purely scientific reasons. Largely because it's a glute exercise and you lift your leg as if you were a dog and you see a fire hydrant outside. So we're gonna lift here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. On to the other side, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good, and so now we're gonna go all the way to the floor. We're gonna go all the way to the floor, lying on our bellies, and we're gonna extend those arms like we're flying like Superman. Who doesn't wanna fly like Superman? But we're gonna lift opposite arm and leg. So left hand, right foot, and they'll go up, up, and then we'll change. Up, up, lift, 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 
lift, lift, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, that's nine, that's 10. Now, if you need to take a rest, please, by all means, rest. Take a break where you need it, get water if you need it, hydrate, do whatever is necessary for you to persevere and get through the workout. From here, we're going to go into some of our, my favorite exercise and yours too, the push-up. But we're going to stay on our knees, bring our hands here, bring our feet up. Actually, let's keep our feet down. From here, all we're gonna do, push our body off the floor, take it back down to the floor. We're gonna rest for a three count. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. Come down, one, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. Wanna keep that core engaged, two, three, push. So we don't have a saggy hip, we don't make a, a, a pointy hip. Want those hips, stay neutral. Down, two, three, and push. What does it look like from the side? I'll turn to the side so you can see. From right here, it's push. And down, two, three, push. And down. Coach Sherman, I don't need to use my knees. I can do push-ups on my toes. Congratulations. So you knock out the push-ups here, all the way to the floor, here. However you need to make them work, make them work. All right, so after push-ups, we're going to do another shoulder intensive exercise. We call these shoulder taps. But you're gonna do them modified on your knees. So we're gonna get into a push-up position. We're gonna open our knees wide. And all we're gonna do is tap our shoulders. All right, tap your shoulder. Gotta keep your core engaged. Gotta engage your, actively engage your, engage your core. Pull your navel in towards your spine. You're still able to breathe. Keeping those hips neutral, they're not moving. So we're not all over the place, we're not wiggling. We're here. I have no idea how many that is, so it is 10. And we're back down to the floor. Now, again, this workout, if it is too intense for you, take breaks. We're doing sets of 10, 10 repetitions in a set. We'd go through and repeat them more than once. We'd repeat them two or three times. If you need to rest in between, please take the rest. All right? <clears throat> From here, we'd like to go to our back. We did our tabletop, we did our prone position, now we're going to our back. And this has been a lot of glute exercise. We're gonna add one more glute exercise from this position. It's a glute bridge. So we bring our heels to the floor, point our toes in the air, arms flat on the ground, drive our hips up and back down. Up and squeeze, you're squeezing these muscles. Up and back down. Up and back down. Drive your hips down. You hold at the top, down. Hold, down. Hold, down. Four more. One, two, down. Three, down and four, we're gonna hold four. Because if you wanna go to a more advanced version, then you go here, hold and lift. So now we're doing glute marches here. Squeezing those glutes to keep us up. Marching, bringing those knees in towards your belly. We get to that unstable environment, forces your glute muscles, your glutes to have to stabilize you. If you can handle this workload, by all means, please get down and back down. Put those feet flat on the floor, bring them a little closer. 
We're gonna bring our head and shoulders off the floor. Our core is engaged, we're driving our navel to the floor. And all we're gonna do is touch our heels. That's it. Touch our heels. Touch our heels. Touch our heels. Touch our heels. Our heels. Our heels. So each side counts as one half. So this is six, seven. Now if your head gets heavy, support yourself. Eight, nine, and 10. All right, and we're back down to the floor. We've got one more exercise on our back. And this is one of my favorites. It's called a hollow. A hollow. What does a hollow look like? We bring our legs out, take our arms back behind our heads, and we lift our head and shoulders, and we lift our feet, and we just hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you're back down. We're holding iso, isometric holds. We typically hold for 10, 20, or 30 seconds, depending on your fitness level. If you can handle the higher rep count or the higher number, please, by all means, go for it. A variation for the hollow, for those of you that are ready, is a hollow roll. What does that look like? I'm glad you asked. You asked good questions. Bring your feet up, head up, and you roll from cheek to cheek. These are hollow holds. Not a big motion, still doing that ISO hold, but as we roll, left and right, we're forced to stabilize. All right, and you would do 10 of those. All right, that's another variation, still using the isometric hold for your rectus abdominis, that's this part, but adding the roll forces other stabilizers to kick in so you don't fall to pieces. All right, now this whole workout took place on the floor. We didn't have to get up. You didn't need a whole bunch of equipment. You didn't need a whole bunch of things. You just needed to use your body weight. Again, I say to you, please, 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 don't be deceived. Just because we're staying home doesn't mean we have to stay still. We still should be moving, we still should be engaging, we still should be working to make ourselves the best version of ourselves. And taking care of your body is one of the ways to do that. All right, so let's stretch out a little bit. Let's stretch out a little bit. We'll start with some hamstring stretches and some lower back stretches. And so we'll start with the hamstring stretch here with your legs out straight. Imagine that there is a bar right across your face. And so I want you to roll your hips, tilt your pelvis, and reach for that bar. So a lot of people will reach here. This is a stretch more for your back than for your hamstrings. So I want you to reach to the bar and imagine that you're pulling it. And we hold that stretch. Typically we hold a static stretch, 45 to 60 seconds. I'm going to abbreviate it today so that we can get through all of it. And release. Good, now I want to stretch my lower back, so I reach down to my ankles and I hold this stretch. 45, 60 seconds. And release. I come here, I walk my hands around to my right, stretching out my torso, making sure my upper back is, re is loose, so when I turn, I turn and reach. You have to do a lot of imagining here. You imagine that there's a bar, or there's a handle on the wall right here, and I'm reaching back to grasp it. And come back here, walk your hands around, reach back, grab that bar again. And release. Bring those hands up here, take them back, bring them forward. Take them back, we're not pulling our heads, we're not straining our neck. Close it out here, one more. Take that left arm all the way up, reach all the way over your head. 
Bring it down, take that right arm all the way up. Reach it all the way over your head. Ah, very good. Listen, enjoy yourself, enjoy your workout. Make sure that your workout works for you. And always remember, find your fit with Fit DC.